The Canon R7 Mark II has quickly become one of the most anticipated upcoming cameras in the mirrorless APS-C segment. And the rumors surrounding its full-frame-inspired design and possible stacked sensor technology are sparking massive excitement across the photography community. Just as Canon shook things up with the R6 Mark III and R5 Mark II, there's growing speculation that the R7 Mark II could take the next big leap, positioning itself as a professional-grade APS-C camera built for wildlife, sports, and creative photographers who crave performance, speed, and advanced imaging capability at a more approachable price. What makes this particularly fascinating is Canon's rumored plan to integrate a full-frame stacked CMOS sensor architecture, adapted for APS-C, potentially making the R7 II a baby R1 in all but sensor size. This would be a monumental shift, not just for the R7 line, but for Canon's entire mid-range mirrorless ecosystem, redefining what enthusiasts and semi-professionals can expect from a compact powerhouse camera. The original Canon R7 already offered incredible autofocus performance, 32.5 MP resolution, and stunning image quality for its price point, but it faced limitations in terms of sensor readout speed, rolling shutter, and low light performance. The rumored Canon R7 II seeks to address all of that with a next-generation stacked CMOS sensor, potentially co-developed with Canon's higher-end full-frame division, featuring dramatically faster readout speeds, better signal-to-noise ratio, and enhanced image processing capabilities through the Digic X or an even newer processor. The inclusion of a stacked sensor in an APS-C camera would represent a revolutionary step, similar to what Sony did when it introduced stacked sensors in its A9 series. This kind of innovation means faster burst rates, minimal rolling shutter distortion, and near instant data transfer to the processor, opening doors for continuous shooting at speeds that were once reserved only for flagship full-frame cameras. Many enthusiasts believe the Canon R7 Mark II could become the go-to choice for wildlife and bird photographers. Pairing it with lenses like the Canon RF 100-500mm f4.5 7.1L is USM would create an unbeatable lightweight telephoto combo capable of capturing distant subjects with precision, even in challenging lighting conditions. With faster readout and superior subject tracking powered by Canon's deep learning autofocus system, users could experience focus reliability that rivals the Canon R3 and R1 series. There's also speculation that Canon will implement its most recent advancements in AI-driven subject recognition, an evolution seen in the R6 Mark III, allowing the R7 II to detect animals, vehicles and humans with unprecedented accuracy. Beyond performance, Canon's rumored updates for the R7 II extend into usability and design. Sources hint at a sturdier weather-sealed magnesium alloy body with ergonomic refinements inspired by the R5 and R6 lines. Photographers could also see a new, sharper 3.2-inch vari-angle touchscreen, improved EVF resolution around 5.76 million dots, and dual SD card slots supporting UHS-2 speeds. These quality-of-life improvements show Canon's intent to make the R7 II not just a spec monster, but also a field-ready workhorse for real-world conditions. The R7 II could blur the line between professional and enthusiast use cases, finally treating APS-C shooters with the same premium features and attention to detail usually reserved for Canon's full-frame line. The introduction of a stacked sensor, however, raises some important considerations. While stacked sensors deliver incredible speed, they often introduce more image noise when pushing high ISO levels due to faster readout and increased heat generation. Canon faced similar trade-offs with the R5 Mark II, where improved readout speed of 6.3 milliseconds introduced slightly more noise compared to the R5 Mark I's 16.3 milliseconds. Still, for many photographers, the benefits of faster rolling shutter reduction and blackout-free shooting far outweigh the minor noise trade-offs. The Canon R7II's rumored stacked APS-C sensor could provide even more efficiency, optimizing the balance between speed, dynamic range, and clarity, a technical feat that would make it the most advanced APS-C camera Canon has ever produced. On the video side, Canon is expected to go all in. The R7 II could potentially offer 6K oversampled video from its 32.5 mp sensor, 4K 120fps slow motion, and 10-bit C-Log3 recording all without heavy crop. Combined with Canon's class-leading dual-pixel CMOS AF2 and focus breathing correction, this would make the R7 II one of the most capable hybrid cameras on the market. Rumors also suggest Canon could include unlimited recording times and improved heat management, 
two factors that would make it an excellent option for content creators. Documentary filmmakers and vloggers alike, Canon's emphasis on hybrid creativity has become more pronounced with each generation, and the R7 II might embody that philosophy more than any APS-C camera before it. From a strategic standpoint, the timing of the Canon R7II's release could align with major photography events like CP Plus 2026 in Japan, giving Canon the perfect stage to showcase its innovation. Earlier leaks suggested an early 2025 launch, but insiders now hint at a late Q1 2026 release window, possibly to ensure the camera benefits from Canon's latest imaging technology, firmware integration, and production refinements. The decision to delay could also be influenced by Canon's crowded release roadmap which includes the R1 flagship and future updates to its RF lens lineup. It's clear Canon wants the R7 II to stand out, not just as a minor refresh, but as a genuine leap forward in the APS-C space. If we consider Canon's broader strategy, the R7 Mark II could also serve as a crucial stepping stone in expanding the company's stacked sensor ecosystem. Until now, stacked sensors have largely been reserved for high-end, full-frame models, Bringing that tech down to the APS-C level signals Canon's intention to democratize professional performance. This move would put immense pressure on competitors like Sony's A6700 and Fujifilm's X-H2S, both of which already boast impressive stacked or backside illuminated sensors. The R72's rumored specifications, however, suggest Canon isn't just trying to compete, it's aiming to dominate this category entirely. For enthusiasts who value compact design, reach and speed, the R7 II could be the perfect hybrid of power and practicality. Imagine shooting fast-moving subjects like eagles in flight or motorsport events with 30-40 FPS burst rates, blackout-free EVF and pinpoint AF tracking, all in a lightweight body that costs far less than Canon's full-frame flagships. The camera could easily become a favorite for travelers and adventure, photographers who need versatility without compromising on image quality or reliability. As Canon prepares, to unveil the R6 Mark III officially, it's clear that the company is committed to delivering cutting-edge innovation across its lineup. If the R7 II receives the same level of refinement, it may redefine what we expect from an APS-C camera in 2026. We could see Canon push deeper into computational imaging, real-time image processing enhancements, and in-camera noise reduction powered by machine learning, technologies that would dramatically improve workflow efficiency for professionals and hobbyists alike. Ultimately, the Canon R7 Mark II represents more than just an upgrade. It symbolizes Canon's evolving vision for the future of mirrorless photography. It's about giving creators tools that empower them to focus less on the technicalities and more on their craft. The joy of capturing the perfect moment. Whether it's a fleeting bird in mid-flight, a serene sunset, or the chaos of a sporting event. The R7 II with its rumored stacked sensor, enhanced autofocus, and video versatility could very well become the most complete APS-C camera Canon has ever built. One that bridges the gap between passion and performance. In the end, while Canon remains tight-lipped about official specifications, the whispers surrounding the R7 II are enough to keep the photography community buzzing. Whether it launches at CP Plus 2026 or later, one thing is certain. The R7 II is shaping up to be a monumental release that could redefine Canon's APS-C legacy for years to come. For now, photographers can only wait in eager anticipation, hoping that this rumored Baby R1 delivers the perfect blend of speed, innovation, and artistic freedom that Canon fans have been dreaming of.